Hi, everybody. Um, we're here today at the Stillman Danaher Preserve, part of the Litchfield Land Trust. And today we're going to go along the Blue Trail, which loops around here. We got a lot of interesting things, Pinnacle Rock. There's a waterfall in this brook here. Today we're going to be following this white trail. Um, and then you can go either. So we're going to go in. Oh, there's two entrances. Uh, uh, we're up here on the blue trail. I can see it right here. So we're going to go down and follow this little stream here. We've never been here be before. Um, but we want to just, uh, so today is CSIS is four years old and we have um, getting very close to 130 investigations and many, many on locations. So we want you to know out there, we appreciate you. Send us your reports, check out our social media and remember, it's all about getting out there. Let's go see what we find. And we are definitely looking for Squatch to do. Got a lot of mushrooms in here. It's a little scary for me, um, even though I know I can identify several of them. I still, I just, be careful when you're eating wild mushrooms. You can really mess yourself up. But they're awesome, like morels and stuff. So this guy is laying around. See, that is either a delicious meal or your last meal. We had some evergreens, then an open field with wildflowers. Now we're in hardwoods and it was less than a quarter mile we've changed um, into three different environments. And now we're getting ferns. Oh, it's very impressive, this place. We have the first cicada. So the cicadas will go up there and buzz around. And when, when they make that ringing noise that they make, you know it's hot. They only do that in like really extreme heat. And this is absolutely gorgeous quartz right here. Almost transparent. Almost. That's the stuff you make good arrowheads with. It's a good day to look for tracks. Um, but we got our beef with it. Now we're sort of getting into real dense forest. Uh, the, the habitat here changes pretty abruptly. It's, it's really, really interesting. This is a really nice hike. It kind of reminds me of the East Kent Hamlet. You know, we brought you that place. We put that place on the map. Now we're putting this place on the map. And here we begin our white trail. So we're going to follow now the white trail. Um, the blue trail goes on, but it doesn't follow this little river. So. We want to stay near the water. Come on, Let's go. Come on. I need you to scare away any evidence for us. Probably wondering why I haven't done any howls or call taps yet. We want to get a little further away from the road. And there are two houses to the entrance. And there's another entrance down further. I am going to start looking for tree structures right about now. So you can see that some of the trees have all sort of fallen in this direction, which is so obviously just an occurrence of nature. But I don't know, my gut's telling me to go up in here. I'm going to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow my gut instinct. I just what do you think camera person you feel like you're being watched 
There are some interesting the way some of the trees have fallen, but um, I don't think any any kind of squash structure. I think it's natural. We're gonna get back on the trail and get further in there. Uh, we'll see you. We'll see you further down the road. Real interesting. Nothing definitive, but there was a like a squared off area. It's pretty interesting, isn't it, camera person? The lay of the ground is soft here. Um, I'm gonna do a call tap. Okay, we're hearing a soft sort of howl. I'm going to replicate it. What is that? Wow. Camera person wants me to do another tap. I think I will. Big huge crash just happened and it was big. Oh man. Alright, hold on. That 
did not sound happy, did it, camera person? I like the first time I might be a little scared. <laughs> that was big. Something ain't super happy. Watch out. What you didn't see is that the dog had wandered off. When I started screaming his name, Mary, both of us, on the loud. I'm gonna try it again, because that seemed to really stir things up. Something big back there. That is the create. Are we getting this? You've seen this before in Park Hampstead. Man, I'll tell you what, this we, we, oh, just as the camera's off, we get the best evidence. It's almost like they know. I just made everything go quiet, except for the birds. Something big crashed through there. It kind of reminded me of my own encounter many, many years ago. The same kind of crashing noise. And I saw that guy. He stood up on two legs. We're about to move on, but this is pretty convincing, this thing uh, the crashing noise, the call taps. The 
power responses. I'm gonna solid five on the squatcha meter this place. All right, well, we're gonna move on. We have some more territory to cover. But wow. Ugh. We never say anything is conclusive, but that was very compelling. It's unfortunate we didn't capture the crashing sound and um, as I was distracted thinking that my dog got lost. This might be his last time in the woods with us. Come across this thing here. Okay, held up by this branch and then this one on the opposite side. Okay, like so. See that? Place there. Barbed wire. I can't help but think this is saying watch out for this. By the way, I hate barbed wire in the woods. This is just gonna hurt deer, any number of animals. But this, this was placed there. But let's recap what we what we saw today. Crazy squatch structures, um, tree structures. Let's not call them squatch structures. Um, we found, we heard power responses, call tap responses, something crashing in the woods. Uh, both camera person and myself agreed that the sounds started to, as if they were moving further away. Something sounded very unhappy. Um, and uh, and we got we got these like just you know weird street structures by the barbed wire, almost like warnings and X's all over the place. We did, we found a, a footprint, but it was inconclusive. Very round, like a, like a bear. And we're just loving it here today. We're gonna get, we're gonna get in there further. Cause this is one of the squatchiest places I've ever investigated outside of maybe Robin Swamp. This place is, is incredible. And in some of the areas where the barbed wire was, it had the distinct impression of trees purposely being put on there to make it easy to travel if you're a large animal. And that's what I believe that was. So there's so much more to see. We want to get in there and find some more evidence. I want to find a nice big print today. We wanted a structure. We got that. We wanted responses. We got that. And we're on a roll. Let's get in there. <laughs> And crows just went crazy. <laughs> Never seem to catch this stuff, do we? We get enough for you though. But man, the stuff off camera, we'd already be on History Channel. Okay, these are the craziest grapevines I have ever seen. You could climb up there. This place is like prehistoric in here. I'm hearing some really powerful rushing water up ahead. Gotta be kidding me. Oh. 
Oh, this is paradise. Oh. Hello, new swimming hole. <laughs> wow. Wow, I'll tell you what, if you like trout fishing, I can guarantee you there's some in there. Probably some pretty big ones. Wow, look at this. I do believe we're going to take a little break here. Yeah. Finally, some clean water for our dog who always stinks. A little bridge over here. This is the damn finest swimming hole I've seen in a long, long time. Micah and Cruz and all over this rock. So the minerals in here are crazy. You could probably find barrel, tourmaline. We found some garnet. Oh, mushrooms everywhere. All kinds of tap responses, hollow responses, crashes, structures. I love it here. This, this just made it. And I've never been here before. And it's not a state park. It's free. Nobody's here. It's sizzling hot out here. Towards the end of July, so it's hot. If this was a park, it would be overcrowded. That's why I prefer state parks and, um, Land trust and wildlife management areas because look at what you get. So tempted to go swimming, just get buck naked and go in there. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you, Camera person? No, I'm not. Okay, cut the camera. Little pole. <laughs> so, um, I wasn't prepared to go swimming, but when you come across this absolute perfect paradise, you have to go in. So I did. When we say it's all about getting out there and you come across something like this, we wouldn't have known about it if we didn't just constantly look pretty much for cryptids, but it gets us out in these places. You see something like this and it's, it's just spectacular. So it is all about getting out there and this is your reward if you do that. And yeah, I jumped in. <laughs> I am just having a blast here. I could have caught easily three or four crawdads, and, uh, but they had some pretty sizable pincers. If, if I was in a real situation, I would have just grabbed them and taken the bite. They don't bite that hard. Um, but I just didn't feel like getting bitten. There's all kinds of huge fish just swimming down here. We threw in some stale crackers and everything just went nuts. Life everywhere here. Just every rock has a frog head. So there you go. You always want to stick by water, you know? There are just so many living things in here. I'll give you an example. Look at this here. Ah, this is what I'm after. Okay, that's, that's a crawdad, crayfish, 
Uh, it's a freshwater, for all intents and purposes, is a freshwater lobster, almost anatomically identical. This guy looks to be an invasive species of what would be the Chinese rusty crayfish. So, uh, yeah. There you go, very edible. Um, you got little claws, people like to eat the tails. I'm gonna put that back because there was a crayfish without claws that looks like he wants to eat that guy. We're gonna actually help him out. Crush him up a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, they're pretty feisty in here. This is a very highly oxygenated, obviously a lot of stuff to eat. And the fish are just going nuts in here. So wow, we just took a break here. But look at this, look at this man-made structure here. And it's made of some pretty big boulders. And that was made back in the time of horses and stuff. Pretty impressive. And that's hard stone. You know what? We're not gonna tell you about this place. You're never gonna see this episode. Because every time we put one of these things, look at nobody's here. We've been here a good hour and a half. Uh, and it's hot out, and it's summer, and it's beautiful. We went swimming. Nobody came across our path. Every time we post a video like this, well, we come, there's one person. Then there's four. Then the next thing you know, we can't even get a parking spot. So I'm sorry, everybody out there. This place is just too good to give away. <laughs> this place all kinds of fish swimming around this place is bursting with life bursting it, it's incredible and it's beautiful and it's funny how that always is the case seems like the more beautiful the nature is the more life there is now the white trail continues down this way my guess is this is private property or just so gnarly you wouldn't get a car back here Oh. I'm again, I'm sorry people, I can't show you this place. You're never going to see this. Look at the backdrop from here. Look at this. You're welcome. You're welcome people. Okay? What we do. So we're now on, we're continuing on the white trail. And we get this opening. Obviously, this is a service road. And we have power cable. Well, that just, that just increases the anomalies. I am absolutely in love with this thing. It changes. Every turn, it changes. It's different. It's nothing quite like it. Is my hair doing a good enough sucralose? It's wet. Let's try it. I'm not saying it's Bigfoot, but it's Bigfoot. If sucralose, if you come squatching with us, I'll stop doing this. Okay? I'll start doing Matt Childress. You have to wonder if there isn't some kind of... Childress is my boy. I'm gonna get in trouble for doing this one of these days, aren't I? <laughs> okay, people, camera person, could you flash around? We want to remind you when you're deep in the forest 
that there's no parking any time. It's just a friendly reminder. <laughs> It's just, listen, they're serious. No parking, okay? They put it high enough so that you couldn't see it. And the only reason it isn't peppered with shotgun is that we're in Connecticut. If that was in Vermont, I wanna hear from my New England folks, my West Virginia folks, Appalachia. If this was in the woods, would it have bullet holes all riddled with it? It would, right? Definitely would. So don't park here on either side, okay? Man, follow the rules, people. <laughs> All right, so we were looking for X's. Boom. This is a dried out vernal pool here. And it's just a crazy place. It just sort of, I don't know. I'm gonna go in further, yeah. Hold on, camera person, let me go ahead. Okay. Wow. You know, this is the kind of stuff that... Oh, that's just... Oh, it's like a little depression in here. Oh, man, this is... Whoa. This is a home run right here. I'm not even going to break anything off. Wow. Just sort of sit right in here. Sort of sit here, you know, I got this tree behind me. I could ambush things, and you know what's very likely? I could ambush deer walking up this road. Um, oh. The, the more I sit here, the way it feels. You know, I got a nice. Imagine you're a hunter, which I don't. I'm just gonna. You know? Or you're just gonna sit here and run out at something. Let's look around a little bit. See if there's some hair. You never look for hair. This kind of thing could catch hair easily. What's this? That's a dead caterpillar. Probably shouldn't be on the ground too much. This is very compelling. Weird. I might as well do a hollow here. <clears throat> I'm gonna do one like like you heard. It got real quiet here. All the birds just stopped. Um, but as we got in here. It kind of got, the crows stopped. It got real quiet. It's just like one bird way in the distance. I'm not gonna do a terribly loud one. I think, I think there's a lot of, lot of activity here. A lot of bugs in here. All right, well, wow. I, wow. This to me just has the feeling of wanting to travel into there a little bit. So let's do that. I want to see. It's mucky in there. There might be, if there's, if there's a squatch in here, it's going to leave some prints in that stuff. Let's see. If, if we're going to find tracks, it's going to be in this mucky stuff.
inconclusive, but it's not far from that X. I'm not going to go too much further in. I'm going to do a tap first. More barbed wire. Suddenly, just stuff went crazy up there. It wasn't a very good one. You just know, as soon as we, as soon as we turn the camera off. If you like mosquitoes, this is the place for you. Um, I'm not, not hearing any kind of tap, but always, every time we shut the camera, we'll wait, we'll wait one more minute. It wasn't a very good call tap either. In Backwoods, Connecticut. If there is such a thing, we're in it. All right, everybody, we're saying goodbye. We're on our way back. And look at this little fella. That is a little tiny toad. And this is what these wetlands do. That's what these vernal pools do. That little guy will grow into, you know, a regular sized toad. We'll see you. This is a great adventure. This place is so cool. It is just primitive back here. It just looks, this is like what you imagine as your classic Squatch area. And man, the evidence we found supports that. Incredibly beautiful. All right, we gotta get out of here. Camera person asked what this is. This is growing off of this tree. This is a mistletoe. First one I've ever seen in the wild. Look behind you. Look behind you. That there's a deer stand. 